and Dong Hai Chen was able to uh, successfully pass that test, prove his superior fighting prowess, and so that was a little bit of the history of where this type of movement came from. But aside from the history, it has very practical value that you can use right now for the health and the mobility of the shoulder. For martial artists, especially grapplers, it's fantastic because when you have flexible shoulders, it's going to be very hard to put you and keep you in a lock. So the movement looks like this. We have a, the palm is up. It's as if I have a teacup. I start with nothing, and then later I'll actually put a cup and then put tea in the cup, and I start doing the movement without spilling. I start here. I turn. Now the only rule is I can't spill the tea. So I have to keep this wow. facing up as I come around the body. And it's a spiraling movement. It's a spiraling movement, and I cannot spill the tea. So I have to keep my palm facing up the whole time. Wow. You can see that the whole body is moving like a spiral. This will be done with both hands. And I have to really stretch my shoulder. Wow. All these ranges of motion in the shoulder is going to keep it very healthy, keep it very mobile, and that's going to help you with your athletics as well because you'll be able to get into the positions much easier. So that's exercise one from the serving teacup exercises. Good for your shoulders. Give it a try and leave any comments if you have any questions or if you want to give some feedback about how it feels. See you next time.